Hello everyone, it's Rad from Rad Kutsarot and within this uh, old video um, you're gonna hear the forecast for your star sign for the upcoming week which is a August 24th to a August 30th, a 2020. For those who are new to Tarot, uh, Tarot is all about knowledge. It's about the knowledge of the universe and how you interpret that knowledge. So if you do like the way I read the Tarot cards and you want to learn to read the same way, I am offering you a Tarot classes and uh, how to participate into them, you can find a link down below in the description of this video just so you know by purchasing a tarot class it also includes a, a certain amount of personal coaching with me as well when you do finish uh, the, the, the recorded class okay, and you do have the hang of it already you can address me with whatever questions you think I have not covered up there or simply you can use that time to uh, practice your reading skills, uh, reading skills with me uh, the other thing is, is that if you do want a personal reading, you can go to my website, which link you are going to find in the description down below as well. And there at the very front page, you're going to see full list of my services as well, their pricing. And as soon as you place a, a purchase, <clears throat> I'm going to come back to you within 24 hours via email to give you details how the reading is going to take place. So if you haven't received the email in your inbox, make sure you do check your spam or junk folder as well. So with that being said, just lay back and uh, enjoy the show. Right. So um, that will be Leo, Sun, Moon and as well Rising. Uh, general tarot reading for the upcoming week and uh, let me shuffle the cards guys and uh, let's get uh, right into it. So the first one that you, uh, Leo, got uh, is going to be the uh, Ace of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which stands as the Four of Cups here in this spread, followed by the Eight of Cups <clears throat> into the third position of the spread. And the final card we do have for you, for the week itself, that is to be the Eight of Pentacles. And um, luckily I'm shooting those uh, videos right after a, a, a live stream I had. Uh, and I'm saying luckily because the theme and the topic is uh, quite similar to what many star signs had in the live stream. And it's kind of remarkable how the cards can say it to you in many different ways. What I mean is that different kind of card arrangements, almost same message. So uh, <clears throat> the week is going to be a good week for you, uh, Leo. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> the week will offer you the opportunity to uh, further goals of yours, regardless of are those goals are going to be in terms of career or in terms of relationship. So it's entirely up to you to choose which kind of a field you are to develop, but in generally what the week, based on the main card we do have, gifts you, it is a either successful business endeavors uh, or a uh, harmonious relationships that you can unfold. Uh, to a point where you alone are going to be quite content to keep up with uh, the week itself. And for some of you, the things are going to develop in a such a good extent that you may feel as well and an ecstasy throughout the week also. Um, now, however, it's uh, unlikely that you may do it uh, on the both fields, okay, or everywhere within your life. So, with, because with the Ace of Pentacles, it's very, uh, the uh, Ace of Pentacles, I'm sorry, it's very channelized card meaning that it's it just covers only one direction so it will be a good thing uh, that you decide at the start of the week itself which kind of like narrative you are going to develop throughout the week itself instead of um, kind of like scattering yourself I could say uh, with the endeavors throughout the week and at the end uh, not being able to accomplish much in in, in everything that it is uh, that it is to it <clears throat> So while the week is going to be that productive in a sense of uh, in a sense of energy, which has uh, which are supporting you there, we do have a few problems, uh, and the, one of them it is the four of cups that is sitting on the second position, uh, and the four of cups on the second position kind of makes the individual that it is uh, uh, that it is the subject of the reading, meaning you, Leo. Uh, that's uh, inability or rather like uh, lack of interest to keep up moving. And that is kind of understandable. 
Uh, it is because you do have your opportunity, you know, you do have your content uh, and like I said, a, a ecstasy at some point. And why would you want to risk all that, right? So you would rather prefer throughout the week to sit on the developed stuff that you could push forward uh, to a certain extent and not risk it all to develop it even further. Now, important things to know in those kind of cases, it is that... Um, while it's good to consume the fruits of your labor, those fruits are gonna end. Uh, they, will, they are not a, a infinite source of satisfaction. And for that reason, the week, while it's gonna give you great rewards, it also, those rewards are gonna end up rather fast. And that's why you have to seek only new ways to improve upon your career and upon your marriage. And that is all that there is to the Four of Cups into the, um, into the second position when we do follow that narrative. Otherwise, uh, the card is pretty trivial. Uh, soon you are going to get bored and uh, what you have achieved ain't going to matter to you. The other problem we do have it is the Eight of Cups uh, that sits into the third position. And that is not that much of a problem. Well, it is a problem and it is not a problem. It's pretty much the Eight of Cups there. It kind of points that uh, things may not develop exactly the way that you have put them into your mind. So you may suffer, I cannot say disappointments, but let's say surprises. Not even a, an, a, an unpleasant surprises. It's just you are to be surprised that things are not developing the way you want them to develop, okay? But uh, that was simultaneously going to be as well a blessing because it's, uh, first of all, it's not going to make you waste your time. So you will be able to recognize when um, a certain line needs to be drawn and you have to keep up from there moving to the next perspective. And as well, it's going to make you very resilient toward tackling with uh, with disappointments and losses and when I say disappointments and losses in this particular case I do mean a temporary loss and a rather insignificant disappointment as well and that is also a, a good sign for you Leo because you may find the strength to forgive so uh, and I'm saying that because many people these days are asking about reconciliations and it always stands the question, well, do you have the strength to forgive? Because reconciliation does request that, right? I mean, the strength to forgive. And for what it seems, uh, you will have uh, that particular strength. But what is, what is certain here with the Eight of Cups sitting into that position, that um, regardless of what kind of a difficulties you are to face, regardless of how things are to develop for you, that may not meet your expectations and your, your anticipations, you will know on the back of your mind that there is a much brighter perspective should you keep up with the uh, with the choice that you have consciously chosen or with the path that you have consciously chosen, mean, meaning sitting on the same job, being into the same relationship, doing the things that you have planned to do. They may not happen the way you have planned to do them, but the goal should stay the same. And uh, what is likely to happen throughout the week for you, uh, it is that uh, if not manifesting your agenda entirely, the very least you will be able to construct a, a very good plan. A plan that it is to be uh, with uh, insertion of a um, huge portion of conscientiousness and keen eye for the details. Keen eye for the details out there. So pretty much you will be, you will have the answer to everything that may happen in the future. And by the end of the week, finally, you will have the circumstances just right um, to make that plan happen or to start manifesting the plan itself. So um, the week, just on a final notes here, uh, let me gain control over my camera once again. So just on a final note for you, Leo, the week will give you an awesome opportunity, guys, uh, to proceed with your marriage or with your career, to uh, stabilize your finances and etc. Regardless of, uh, depending on what you are trying to manifest, you're going to have the opportunity to keep on manifesting it and to further that goal. But you got to do it smart and you got to know that perfection is, uh, it's the boot. Perfection is, um, how can I say, it's a celluloid expectation. You can never be perfect into something. There is always 
and an aspect that can be done better and you need to know when to draw the line and you need to place constantly a further expectations of yourself and further expectations but those expectations needs to have a margin okay a margin of error or a margin of a uh, uh, of a variation and as long as you do fit within the framework of the margin then you are free to keep improving yourself moving forward and you can count the achievement as a success um, so that being said, uh, this was your weekly uh, general tar reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other next time. Till then, bye.